In the last lecture, I explained you about production, dev, quality and test databases. Now depending upon the requirement, there might be even more databases like reporting databases and data warehouse. Let us consider the test database. The testing team performs some tests and some data is deleted from the test database. Let's take they executed some code and the data is deleted from the test database. At this point, DBA comes into picture. The DBA will refresh the test database by deleting test database and copying fresh data from the production database. This kind of activity is known as database cloning or database refresh. Same thing goes with development database. At certain point, DBA team will get a request to refresh the dev database from production database. Hence, database refresh is one of the DBA activities. The frequency of database refresh varies from environment to environment like weekly refreshes or monthly uh, database refreshes, it depends. I have worked in environments where we used to have every week uh, database refreshes uh, on Saturday midnight. Now I am going to walk you through what exactly a DBA day to day routine looks like. Please note these activities are not limited. Uh, I'll talk uh, about the general activities. In real time you will have even more activities. This is just to give you an idea to understand DBA activities. I have divided the activities based on frequency. Like what are the activities to be done on a day to day basis, the weekly based activities, monthly based activities and quarterly based activities and also I have included another section where I talk about other database activities or other DBA activities. So let me walk you through quickly on the DBA day to day activities. So first of all we have like checking the database and listener availabilities. You have to also check space availability inside the database. You have to check the session blocking the other session. You have to also monitor the alert logs for any errors. Uh, you need to check the top sessions using more physical I.O. Of course, uh, some of the terms might be Greek and Latin at this point of time for you if you are a fresher DBA, uh, but that's okay. Uh, detect locked objects uh, inside the database. Uh, check the SQL query which is consuming the, a lot of resources. Uh, monitoring the temp and undo table spaces. Uh, taking database archive backups. Uh, checking failed backups and re-trigger those backups health check of the databases. So these are just some quick uh, DBA day to day activities. Now once again remember uh, most of these tasks you don't do it manually. There are tools in place. Uh, there are monitoring systems in place. If something goes wrong they send you an email alert and then you act upon those alerts. Let me walk you through uh, weekly activities. What are the activities that might come in like weekly frequency. So database refreshes from production like uh, one example I gave you earlier. Uh, check the objects which are fragmented, uh, chaining and migrated rows. Uh, check the block corruption inside the database. Uh, check the uh, free space at OS level. Uh, this is like uh, in some environment it is weekly activities. In some environment it is it comes under monthly activities. In, in one of the projects that I have worked uh, the checking uh, of the space at OS level was done once in a quarter. Now again that's what I said these activities depends uh, on project to project. Next weekly activity that you might see is uh, check invalid objects inside the database. Check the growth of the databases and then add the space depending on the growth. And then uh, taking logical backups in case of physical backup failures. Again it depends uh, from project to project. So what are the monthly activities of a DBA? Check the database growth and free space availability at OS level. Request for next month disk space to storage team. Check and rebuild indexes if needed. Table space uh, reorganization. Uh, check default table space and temporary table spaces for each user. Now again these uh, activities are not limited but I have just tried to list some of them for your understanding. 
Now, what are the quarterly uh, DB activities? A database patching, if there are any upgrades. Upgrades are not uh, so uh, common, like you don't get it uh, every quarter, but definitely database patching, you have it every quarter. Uh, bounce most critical databases once a month, uh, again, depending uh, whether it is monthly or quarterly. It's, it's not mandatory. Uh, not all the critical uh, databases are bounced uh, like on monthly or quarterly basis. There are databases which have been running for like years. And the next quarterly activity that you might see is review common Oracle tuning points. So improving the performance, looking at the database uh, tuning options, maybe tweaking the application here and there and again further trying to improve the application. Now, apart from all these, uh, these are just frequency-based uh, activities. You might have other database activities like installing and configuring Oracle databases on servers, performing database upgrades, add new users to database and assign privileges, uh, prepare the backup strategy and test all the recovery scenarios, perform POC, that is proof of concept, and show it to the client, contact Oracle support for help. Now, once again, as mentioned earlier, these activities are for you to understand how Oracle DBA day-to-day -day routine looks like. Now, in all my courses, what I try to do is I try to cover as many day-to-day uh, -day DBA activities as possible. Even if you go for any database administration or any other course, my courses are related to real-time DBA experience. So going forward, you will understand what are the different types of learning. There is a certification-based learning and real-time-based learning. So mostly my courses are aligned towards real-time-based learning, not really towards the certification-based learning.